Thanks for joining us here in the Fox 4 Weather Center. I'm certified meteorologist Katie Walls. New tonight, we are expecting Helene to be a Category 4 at landfall Thursday evening in the Big Bend area in and around Apalachicola, taking aim at Tallahassee. Now, at its closest point to southwest Florida, it's still going to be about 180 to 190 miles offshore, but it's expansive. As a matter of fact, it's about 500 miles across. And because of that, tropical storm conditions are expected across our entire viewing area. Now, one of the spots is going to be experiencing the worst of the impacts, Sarasota County. So I wanted to break it down hour by hour, what you can expect county by county, depending upon your location. So for Sarasota County, we are expecting three to six inches of rainfall, isolated spots, potentially even higher. Wind gust as high as 75 miles per hour expected right along the coastline. And it's also here along the coast, of course, where storm surge warnings are in effect and where four to seven feet of coastal flooding is expected. So that's why we have started to see some of those coastal communities actually put under those evacuations. Same story here in Charlotte County, where three to six inches of rainfall are expected. And again, right along the coastline, three to five feet of storm surge are also forecast. So again, even though that storm's going to be sitting 150 to 200 miles offshore, it's still going to be kicking up a lot of storm surge. Gust expected upwards of 70 miles per hour, especially along the coast, but even farther inland toward Babcock Ranch, gusts still are forecast 35 to 45 miles per hour. And then here across Lee County tonight, through Thursday evening, we're going to be dealing with those gusts 35 to 45 miles per hour. Gust as high as 70 miles per hour, especially right along the coastline. And that's also where we could see that three to five feet of storm surge. Bottom line, if you flooded in Debbie, if you flooded in Edalia, chances are you're going to be flooding with this system as well. So please plan accordingly. And especially if your vehicle could be in a precarious position, you want to make sure it's moved to higher ground. Heading down now to Collier County, also expecting three to six inches of rain rainfall where flooding will also be a concern just from fresh water from rainfall but even here 30 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts are expected upwards of 55 and here also expecting that storm surge of three to five feet now farther inland not expecting the impacts to be quite as severe certainly not worried about storm surge here but still we are expecting two to four inches of rainfall that could lead to localized flooding gusts as high as 50 miles per hour expected across Hendry as well as Glades counties of course We'll continue to track this potential for you very closely.